The Beckett Z gauge is designed for use on Beckett AF, AFG, SR, and SF oil burners that use the F-style fixed retention head, and also AF2 burners with FB-style retention heads. The Beckett Z gauge allows you to set the nozzle to the proper distance from the combustion head without removing the oil burner from the heating appliance. It also allows you to properly adjust the electrodes to Beckett specifications. To use the Beckett Z gauge, follow these step by step instructions. Step 1 Disconnect all power to the oil burner. Step 2 Disconnect the copper connector tube and the spline nut from the nozzle line. Step 3. Loosen but do not remove the 5 16 inch hex screw that secures the escutcheon plate. Step number 4. Loosen the clips that secure the igniter and tilt the igniter back on its hinge. Step 5. Remove the nozzle line electrode assembly from the oil burner housing. Step 6. Slide the Beckett Z gauge over both the nozzle and the nozzle adapter with the open side facing up as shown. Step 7. If the electrodes are already positioned correctly as shown in figure B, proceed to the next step. If the electrodes are not already positioned correctly, loosen the electrode clamp and place the electrode tips at the prescribed marks given on the Z gauge as shown in figure B. Secure the electrode clamp. To prevent cracking the insulators, do not over-torque the electrode clamp. The electrodes are now set to the factory specifications of 5 16 inch above the center of the nozzle and 1 16 inch in front of the nozzle with a 5 32 inch gap between the electrode tips. Step 8. Reinstall the nozzle line electrode assembly with the Z gauge into the burner. Push the assembly forward as far as it will go. The Z gauge should be touching the back of the retention head as shown. Replace the spline nut onto the assembly and finger tighten. Step 9. Mark the escutcheon plate location on the burner housing. Step 10. Remove the nozzle line assembly from the burner housing and detach the Z gauge. Caution! The Z gauge must be removed from the burner before the burner is put into operation. Step 11. Reinstall the nozzle line electrode assembly into the burner. Adjust the escutcheon plate to the location mark you made earlier and tighten the 5 16 inch hex screw to secure the escutcheon plate. Note, when using the Z gauge to set the nozzle line electrode assembly on the AF2 burner using the FB retention head, the escutcheon plate must be moved 1 16 inch forward toward the head assembly from the position previously marked. Step 12. Tighten the spline nut onto the nozzle line electrode assembly and reconnect the copper connector tube. Close the igniter and tighten the clips. If further assistance is needed, please contact our technical service department at 1-800-645-2876 or email us techservice at beckettcorp.com.